Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some really cool two frame animations using acrylic. The general idea is to take the traditional edge lift acrylic signs and design a base that holds two acrylic sheets in confined spaces. Looking at the sectional view, you see how that's done. Instead of having the LED strips lie flat, I angled them a little. If I had them lie flat, the space in between the two acrylic sheets will be too much and that doesn't make for a very good looking two frame animation. So by having the LED strips and the edge of the acrylic at an angle, I can bring both frames as close to each other as possible without sacrificing the brightness. The type of LED strip is also important to creating the animations. I'll be using individually addressable LEDs together with an Arduino Nano. This gives me the ability to program the LEDs with different behaviors and colors that I'll then use to animate the images on the acrylic in different ways. Here are all the images I'll be animating. I have a light bulb that says make, the Superman logo, a DNA strand, a bird flying, and grew dancing from Despicable Me. I drew most of them by hand and then traced the outlines on Illustrator, basically converting the sketch into a vector image. This way I can easily scale the image and also generate SVG files for those of you that might want to try out this project with a CNC. Notice how the images on the right are inverted copies of the ones on the left. That's so I can have the engraved sides of the acrylic facing each other and as close to each other as possible. Also, not all the images are the same on both sides. That's because they all animate differently, with reference to how the individually addressable LEDs will be programmed to behave. I'm pretty sure you guys can already see how I intend to animate some of them. Next up is cutting the acrylic into rectangular frames. The width needs to be the same as the width of the image. The height doesn't really matter, just have enough to be able to insert the acrylic into the base without covering the image. To cut the acrylic, I recommend using a CNC or a table saw if you have one just to get the most accurate cuts. I don't have any of those so I'll be using this hook knife. A few passes and I should be able to snap it in two. I'll also cut out the individual images, leaving a little clearance from the border lines. Next up is attaching the printed image to the acrylic. Here you can see how the border lines helps to center the image on the acrylic. Once that's set, I can then proceed to tracing out the images on the acrylic with an engraving tool, in my case, a homemade one. For the Superman logo, I intend to create an animation similar to this. So I'll trace the logo outlines on the first acrylic and shade out the spaces between the hairs on the second one. So if I put them together, I'll have the full logo or with the outline and the shades on different layers. Depending on what you want to animate and how you intend to animate it, the way you will have to trace out the images on both layers of acrylic might be a little different, as you'll see with the other images I'll be animating. The whole manual engraving process was time consuming, but I enjoy sketching, so I didn't really mind it.
The last step is setting up the base. The base prints in three parts that are held together with glue. I'll have a link to the STL files in the description. Together with the Fusion 360 source file for those of you that might want to move a few dimensions around. The connection is straightforward. The output of the last LED in the front row is connected to the input of the first LED in the back row and the Arduino Nano connects to the first LED in the front row. The LEDs are powered from the Arduino's 5V pin and the data pin is connected to D2 on the Arduino. You can use any data output pin on the Arduino so long as you define the pin in the code. If you are going to have more than 5 LEDs per row, you should consider powering the LEDs with a separate 5V supply. One that supplies more current than what the Arduino can. Alright, so fast forwarding through the whole growing process to the code. The code was written using the fast LED library. So you need to have the fast LED library installed for the code to work. I'll have a link to where you can download the library in the video description. The code contains four different LED animation presets that you can use to create different types of acrylic animations. So if I scroll through the code, you see a bunch of looped functions. Most of them control how the LEDs transition from one state to another and the rest defines the actual animations. Except you want to make changes to how the LEDs make their transitions, you really don't need to worry about all this. Everything you need is conveniently placed at the top of the code. The parameters you need to define includes the number of LEDs you're going to be using for your animations, the data output pane on the Arduino, the speed of the animations, and also the colors. In the main loop, there are four animation presets. To use any of them, all you have to do is to remove the slash in front of the preset. The first is called Add Frame. What this preset does is it keeps the front frame on and fades on and off the back frame. So the animation will look something like this. This preset works best with text and other similar graphics. Second is called frame switch. This preset switches visibility between the front and the back frame. This preset is particularly good for animating an action, like a bird flying. Or grew dancing. The third is called Frame Color Swap. This preset does exactly what the name implies. It continuously swaps the colors in the front and the back frame. This preset is good for animating geometric patterns. This DNA strand didn't quite turn out the way I imagined, but it does look good. The last is called Flare. This preset runs a flare across the front and the back frame. It kind of emulates light shining on an image from different angles. With these four presets, you should be able to create all kinds of two-frame animations. You just need to be a little imaginative. All the files relating to this project will be linked in the video description. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.